What is going on? Making an album can be a serious journey. And in most cases, it's a journey that never even gets started for a number of reasons. And in this video, we are going to discuss five tips to help you start and finish an instrumental boom bap hip hop album. But first, I'd like to invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And with that, let's get to it. All right, number one. Do not be intimidated by other instrumental albums in your genre. In this case, it's hip hop. When you're sort of doing the preliminary research of how you're going to format your album, you're going to check on what other instrumental releases sound like, you know, just to get a lay of the land to see what other people are doing. And while this may start out as a healthy process, what might happen is you may get so intimidated by the quality of the work that you're listening to that you may feel that there's no point to releasing your work because of the fact that you feel intimidated by what's already out there. And because of that, you may not even start the project. And I know this sounds crazy, but it happens much more than you think. And this is one of those things that it happens so subtly that you might not even realize that you're doing it. Things you might say to yourself like, oh, I'm not ready yet, or you just haven't found album worthy music. But in reality, what's really happening is you don't feel like your music is competitive enough to survive with the music that's already out there. And what's more real than that is it's not even true, which leads us to tip number two. You have everything you need. The amazing thing about releasing an album is the fact that it is not about gear. It is not about whether your music can compete or not. An album is meant to capture your musical skill and knowledge and talent at a moment in time, which means that that moment will never be the same ever again as long as you live. And capturing that moment allows you and every listener to see where you were at at that time. And that's very enjoyable to listen to. There's nothing better for a music lover to actually see the progression of an artist. As music lovers, that's what we want to see. We're not really concerned about how technical your album is or how much skill you have. As a creative human being, anything that you do in that vein will be appreciated. Simply for the fact that there is no other you on the planet. And a lot of the times as musicians, this is something that's really hard for us to grasp, that we're actually good enough all by ourselves. It's very easy for us to rely on musical equipment to dictate how valuable we are as artists. But just knowing that you are good enough right now at this moment is a reality that will carry you past this feeling so you can move on to the business of actually starting the recording process. Tip number three. Once you begin to record, give it everything you have in a timely fashion. Key words in a timely fashion. There is a balance between procrastination and wanting to put out the best album you can. And the fulcrum between these two points is time. Time is the balancing factor. So it's okay to take some time and be thoughtful about what type of work you'd like to put out. And there's absolutely nothing wrong about giving it 100% as long as those two desires are bound by time. And what all that means is this. Once you start a song, finish the song. Don't try to be perfect at the expense of slowing down your progress. And on the other side, don't slow down your progress by overthinking what you'd like to do. Always remember the end goal that we discussed in tip number two. The album you're making is simply to capture your creative status at this present time. So like my father would say, take your time and hurry up. Tip number four. The thing about instrumental albums is that they are very, very difficult to make. Unlike most albums where we're able to rely on vocals to entertain the listener, instrumental albums have the task of trying to keep the listener interested in an instrumental song for the duration of the song. And this would be the difference between a beat tape and an instrumental album. An instrumental album has arrangements just like a song, has a structure just like a song, and has a goal to take the listener and carry them along with the journey of your music. So once you've recorded your songs, simply arranging your music can make your group of songs feel like an album, not only to you, but the listener. Just take a listen to DJ Shadow's introducing album. That album is completely instrumental, yet it transports you from song to song within the songs. You can feel the arrangements shining. There's nothing about that album that says B-Tape at all. 
its quality from beginning to end. Not to mention, focusing on the arrangements of a song once they're recorded will really boost your confidence in your album and its ability to compete with everything else out there. Because being creative is already an extreme bonus, but being creative with a clear-cut focus is nearly unstoppable. All right, tip number five. I had to learn this one the hard way. When you are embarking on the journey of recording an album, it is imperative that you do one thing at a time. There is nothing that will slow you down quicker than trying to do a million things at once. So when you're recording, simply record. Don't worry about mixing. Don't worry about whether you're going to do vinyl, cassette, or CD, or digital. Don't worry about the artwork. Do not worry about who's going to promote it. Do one thing at a time. So when you're finished recording it, then you could start arranging it. When you've finished arranging it, then you could start mixing it. When you're finished mixing, then you could be concerned with mastering. And so on and so on and so on. Unless you have a team that can take on these projects concurrently while you focus on your part of the job, it's best to take on a task one at a time. This ensures that you're definitely giving that particular task your best because albums require your full attention. You can hear, as I'm sure we all have, albums that seem kind of scattered. And this goes beyond music. You can see movies that look scattered. It just looks like there were too many things going on or it wasn't cut right or something was amiss. And the best way to avoid all of that is to simply focus on completing one step of the process at a time. And if you keep all of these tips in mind, you will have an album out. Guaranteed. And if you haven't done it yet, there is absolutely no feeling like releasing your own music. But that's a topic for another discussion. But for now, let me know your thoughts. Do you have any issues that you encounter while making an album? Or do you have problems beginning the process? or finishing the process. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn something today, subscribe to us here on YouTube. I will catch you on the next one. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Peace.